Okay, now that we've taken this lens and gotten it away from the drawing, or the printing, we can now go over to the printing itself and look at some of the parts and pieces of it. Another thing that we can do with this structure is simply to hide it. And that way it doesn't get in our way as we look around. The printing has multiple parts to it, all of which are part of the printing. There's a rim around the printing that holds it all together. There is a platinum disc, and that's been given this platinum color. On the platinum disc are a variety of structures. We have letters on the platinum disc that go in a circular way around the periphery. We have a gold <coughs> cross on sitting on the platinum. Inside the cross are words. And to add effect and color, we've had some gemstones added. The gemstones that we use are diamonds and rubies. We do also have, in order to give an effect to the cross, we have a color, an area of color around the cross. This color area on this side is a yellow color. The color area on this side is a more reddish color. You can see <clears throat> if we more carefully look at the gemstones, that the gemstones float inside these circular cutouts in the printing and if we look at just one of the gemstones you can see that they have a particular shape to them they're um, They are made <clears throat> using design criteria. You can just go look up on the internet how to make jewels. One side of the jewel has a, a smooth, rounded face, and the other side of the jewel has a pointed end, and the pointed end is cut off flat at the end of it. The diameter of the entire Printing from one, I mean, of this jewel from one side of it to the other side of it is two millimeters. So these are two millimeter um, gemstones. And there are two gemstones in the printing. Well, these are showing the rubies, and these are showing the diamonds. Another uh, facet of the printing that we want to demonstrate is that the round, soft, large side of the rubies points out towards the red side of the printing. And on the red side of the printing where we're seeing the soft, round faces of the rubies, we're seeing the pointed end of the diamond. And again, the diamond has <coughs> been given some loss of opacity so that if you look straight on at it it just looks like there's a circle floating in space here but that's really the pointed end of the diamond if we go around to the other side of the printing then on this side we're looking at the soft rounded face of the gemstone the diamond gemstone and we're looking at the pointed end of the ruby gemstone and that's just the way this printing is put together. You can also see that <clears throat> we've removed some structures. The support disc in the middle has gone. And all that it remains is the platinum disc. And then the area of color. And then the words and the cross and the gemstones. And if we bring it all the way back to its complete structure, then we get the completed 
printing back again. And that's what it looks like.